My name's Pete. I'm going to show you how to play Bones by Ben Howard. The tuning for this is a little bit contentious because I've seen quite a few comments on videos where people think it's in standard Ben tuning, open C. So C, G, C, G, G, C. It's a tuning is used for things like Old Pine. And then capo on the fifth fret, but only spanning the higher pitched five strings. Leave the bass string open. Now I had a good listen and I've, I've um, experimented a little bit. and my, I'm tuned to C, G, C, G, A, C. So this the second string is tuned to an A. And then when I put my capo on, on the fifth fret, if you check in with a chromatic tuner, then what you should see on your tuner is C, another C, F, and another C, and a D, and then finally an F. Okay, so this is not a hugely difficult song to play from the perspective of what your left hand's doing. It's quite tricky to sing and play at the same time because there's a little bit of um, atmosphere created within the lyrics by certain lines being drawn out across musical phrases to the point that the end of one lyric almost is um, encroaching on the start of the next little musical phrase. So to start this, put your index finger on the fifth string, second fret above capo, and you're going to hammer on with your ring finger to the fourth fret on the fifth string as well. And then move your index finger to the fourth string, second fret above capo, and strum again. Then lift your ring finger off, but leave the index finger where it is. So you've just got your index finger on the second fret, fourth string. Ring finger back on. Down to the index finger on the fifth string, second fret, and back up to fourth. And then middle finger onto the 6th string, 4th fret above capo. I'll just do that again. So 5th string, 2nd fret, hammer to the 4th, and then bring that index finger down to the 2nd fret, 4th string. Ring finger off, back on, 2nd fret, 4th fret, and then 2 fingers on the 4th fret, 5th and 6th strings down to the 2nd fret, same two strings, and then the second time round's almost the same, except I'm going to hammer on, uh, no I'm not going to hammer on, I'm going to strum, okay, so it's, it's four strums for that. It's obviously a little bit more involved, so let's look at that, okay? Um, I'm starting the second phrase with my index finger on the second fret, fifth string, and it's strum, fourth fret, fifth string, strum again, second fret, fourth string, strum again, and then bring that ring finger back down on the fourth fret, fifth string. And then I'm going to strum in such a way that I hit Trying to avoid hit, hitting the sixth string, I'm going to hit strings five, four, three, maybe two, and I'm going to start with my index finger on the fourth string, second fret, and it's that's the first bit, okay? Two, four, two, open, all on that fourth string from one strum, and then onto the fifth string, frets four and two, and again I'm strumming to try and avoid the sixth string there. And then again, two, four, two, open. And then on with the two fingers, fourth fret, fifth and sixth strings. Okay, I'll do that again slowly. You might notice when I'm doing the strumming pattern in between on that little fill there, I'm sort of doing um, so one and two and three, 
and the uh, the one is sort of more bass notes orientated bass bass higher up high bass and then Coming out of this bit, when you've when you've sung the the verses, and you're you're dropping into the, uh, the the chorus section, you put your index finger just behind the capo, but on top of the sixth string, on the fifth fret. Strum open like that. And then the next position after that is to come up to. Effectively, where your octave's marked, it's two, four, six, seventh fret above capo, and you're going to put ring finger and middle finger onto the, um, the fifth and fourth strings, and then bring your index finger onto the eleventh fret, and uh, you could possibly take your ring finger off at this point, but it, it sounds okay if you leave it on. That's what it sounds like without. And then back down to the capo, fifth fret, sixth string. And the index finger on eleven. And then you're back into. Um, When you look at the tab, you'll see that for this this first fill, that fits in a little bar of two four within the sequence of the rest of the song, which is in four four. The the second fill, um, that's, that's sort of got two halves to it, so that's still a, a bar of four four there. So I'm going to play through the the first verse and just into the chorus quite slowly so you can see how this fits. I've done a cover of this as well if you want to have a look at that for the whole song really. So we've uh, we've got that start sections really. So the, the last bit of the last verse you've got um, go, leave me with this burning soul out here in the cold down to the fifth fret because it's just the bones you made of. That's just your introduction sequence there it's just that bar 
Okay, I don't think I need to do much more than that with this song, really, because it's just those sequences I've shown you looped around through the, the various verses and chorus choruses. The tab is on the website, which is detailed down there somewhere. Do have a look and check it out. There's, there's all sorts of stuff on there about my uh, guitars and kit and uh, the other tutorials I've done. Uh, I've done one John Martin tutorial so far, and hopefully there'll be some more soon, and there's some Billy Martin stuff on there. Um, as, as always, I'm always grateful for your comments. They keep me motivated, and the likes help my... Um, videos uh, get promoted and help other people find them and I, as I said if, if I get to a thousand subscribers I'm gonna start hitting the original material people so yeah if you haven't already su subscribed so far then please do so and um, yeah see you next time cheers <laughs>